top top in the morning to you top of this fine morning to you I'm here delivering I can show you the building there's no names on the building is there now delivering to a building like this on that side of me is a fence see that there there's a fence and on that side is where the docks are so it's gonna be a little bit of a tight squeeze <laughs> It's funny, I have 10 boxes that I'm delivering here, right? I met another driver here for my company who drives actually the same kind of truck as me. You guys have seen it quite a bit. It's another Freightliner Sentry. It's exactly like mine, except he has an Alley Arc Moose Bumper and he doesn't have the wings on his hood like I do. But I got to talk to him today. His name is Bruce. And uh, his truck actually has 2.7 million kilometers on it. Mine only has just under 2 million, probably about 1.9 million kilometers. That's not miles, it's kilometers. I have about one point two million miles and so uh his he says he's doing strong too he tested his engine out just a little while ago tested his oil got it checked out and it's doing just fine so you know that gives me great encouragement knowing that his truck made it that far because then i should be able to make it that far too <laughs> 2.7 million so he's 0 0.8 like 800,000 kilometers further along than me and his truck's actually two years newer <laughs> how's that work <laughs> but uh so, let's see, 800,000. I do about 200,000 kilometers a year. So, two, four, six, eight. That's four years yet that I can drive this truck just to get to where that truck is. Four years. That's so encouraging. So, maybe it is worth it to buy an APU yet for my truck. Because I was wondering, is it worth it? You know, i got an old truck. You know, it takes three years to pay for itself. Maybe it's worth it. What do you think, Diesel? APU. Uh, there's a lot of you who don't drive truck following me. I should explain what an APU is. An APU is an auxiliary power unit. Most of you know what this is. It's a little engine uh, that you mount to your frame behind your cab. Excuse me, I got a hair hanging in front of my eyes here. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Why are you in my face? Anyways. Yeah, and uh, pretty much what that engine does, its job, is to keep the climate at the right temperature in the truck, right? So it'll, in the wintertime, it'll keep your cab warm. And in the summertime, it'll keep your cab cool without your engine idling, right? Because in many states in the United States, it's illegal to idle your truck, but it's okay to use the APU. It uses much less fuel, so you save a lot of fuel using it and also wear and tear on your engine, right? So your engine will last even longer. And we're done unloading. 10 whole boxes, whoo, what a workout. Wow, that weighed at least, you know, collectively, maybe a hundred pounds. Saving lots of fuel now. <laughs> Anyways, we are in Ottawa, our nation's capital. I'm actually probably just a few miles from where the shooting happened in Parliament. That was a sad day, eh, Diesel? That kind of stuff doesn't happen up here. That just doesn't happen, man. Sad day. Well, let's go to Montreal.
French Canada. Actually, Montreal is very bilingual still. It's sort of half and half. The government is all French, but half the people are pretty much English. And most people here are bilingual. It looks like the little assignment they needed me to do running back and forth in Quebec got cancelled. Because uh, I got sent a new load assignment that uh, says I'm picking up here in Quebec and then going down to Indiana. So I guess they don't need me to do that favor anymore. Well, I guess we're going to Indiana. As soon as we're empty here, we're going to head up. I think it's near uh, Three Rivers, Quebec. And then, yeah, probably be in Indiana tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. But I got a question for everybody. I got a, and this is an honest question. I'm trying to figure this out. Is there a particular reason why in Quebec nobody drives the speed limit ever? Maybe, is it just me or does anyone else notice this? Tell me if you notice this. As soon as you cross into Quebec or if you see Quebec plates in Ontario or anywhere else, they're never doing the speed limit. I mean, conditions are perfect. But instead of, like, the speed limit's 100. Instead of doing 100 down the highway, they would rather do, you know, 85. So instead of doing, like, 65 mile an hour, they'd rather do, you know, 50 to 55. Not that big of a difference, not that big of a difference, but every single one of them, I'm just I'm just curious if there's a reason for that. I know their trucks are governed at 105, so they can go faster, but they choose In 1.7 kilometers, take exit 58 on right towards Boulevard Humas. In Ontario, you notice it because everybody wants to do 100, right? That's the speed limit. You always notice that one truck is holding up traffic in a, a lot of like heavy traffic and everybody's trying to get around one truck. You'll always notice when you pull up to it, there's a very good chance it's got Quebec plates. So I'm just curious. And I don't mean any disrespect, or this isn't a hit at them or anything. I'm just wondering, is there a reason or... All right, so we're empty, we got unloaded. And there was that same driver there from this morning. We switched trailers. I don't know why, but the, uh, you know, Dispatch just said, hey, do a switcheroo. So we did a switcheroo. We don't ask questions, right? We do what we're told. So I, I lucked out because I actually got a nicer trailer now. <laughs> so we got a nicer trailer. And we're headed just over the river here into Mirabelle. And we're going to load a load there, which is going to Indiana. I can't remember if I've talked to you about this already or not, but that's what's happening. Going to Indiana. Pretty sure I talked to you about it already. I don't know. So from Indiana, we still don't know where we're going, like usual, but I gotta do the math to see how far away it is from here. I'm pretty sure, though, that we'll be there tomorrow. Pretty sure. We're here, Diesel. Sir Weasel. We're here. Very excited, aren't you? Very excited. So I found someone who speaks English here and figured out they're all on lunch. Makes sense, it's lunch time. Everyone deserves a lunch. So I'm waiting here till they're done. They say the load's not quite ready yet. Uh, they're still making it, so that's okay. They'll be done by the end of the day and then we'll put it on my trailer. And then I'm gonna take it down to Indiana because that's what we do. We take things from here to there and from there to here. That's what we do. It's my job, I love it. Right, Diesel? Isn't it fun? I don't know, I think it's fun. If you got nothing holding you back at home, it's definitely a fun exploring adventure type of thing, if you like that. Just remember, you can't pick where you go, you gotta go where you're told. So it's not always fun, it's not always fun. Definitely not always fun. Especially once it starts snowing, then it's not fun. But whatever, you push through the bad days and there's always more good days than bad, so. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Just got to wait. Hurry up and wait. It's the name of the game. <laughs> I feel dumb. I called into dispatch uh, just to let them know I was reloading here right now. And uh, 
They're like, what? They're going to load you today? I'm like, well, that's why I'm here, I thought. I thought they were going to load me today. <laughs> Oh, they were going to load you tomorrow. I go back and look at my message from them in my uh, Qualcomm. <laughs> it says we're loading tomorrow. <laughs> All I got was the message saying that I'm reloading here. And I just went straight here. <laughs> I was so excited. Get <laughs> reload. <laughs> oh, so I'm here a day early. No wonder they're like, well, it's not ready yet, but we might have it ready by end of day. I'm like, yeah, no problem. So now I gotta go talk to them and say, hey, well, don't rush it. Don't like bend over backwards for me now because dispatch has already completely uh, arranged my next trip around leaving tomorrow. So it doesn't cost me anything to leave tomorrow. <coughs> we can go have an evening somewhere. I wonder if they have Uber in Montreal, like the, the, the cab service. If they have Uber in Montreal, I'm gonna go park somewhere here and take an Uber downtown or something, that'd be fun. Probably just stay in my truck though. It's probably what, that's always what ends up happening. I always make all these big exciting plans to go explore, and then I end up just staying in the truck. I really do want to explore. I like exploring, but usually, like I say, when you get to a truck stop, suddenly you're in a place where you know there's nothing around and no cabs. And I only like to use Uber really because it's an Uber Duber service. All right, we are driving directly into that sun. I know, but our next exit is our exit. We're only picking up the load tomorrow afternoon, so getting a layover and we're going to the Flying J. You see it on the sign right there? I had to go a little far out of town for this, I know, but they got showers and internet and it's worth it to me to go the extra distance to go stay at the Flying J. I'm that loyal of a patron. I bypassed the first Flying J in Bainesville. I don't think they got internet there. So I'm going to Lancaster Flying J. That's the Flying J I showed you around uh, last time we were up here. We were there recently and we're gonna go uh, spend the next, oh, I don't know, almost 24 hours there. Not quite, we're gonna leave there probably around 10 a.m. tomorrow, head back into Montreal. Uh, I had to drive about an hour to get here, but there's no real good truck stops in Montreal. There, there's actually no truck stops in Montreal. You have to get out of the city to stay at a decent truck stop. I decided to go see how it goes. Where is this exit? Did I miss it? Dang it, the scale's open. Right out loud, this is not why I came this way. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to go through the scale. I'm empty, just let me pass through. Pass, come on, come on. You don't want to inspect me. You do not want to inspect my truck. My truck is tip top shape. You're going to waste your time. Don't waste your time inspecting my truck. My truck is good to go. Better let my truck through. Okay, so we're gonna follow the arrow, which is the green arrow here. This is the first way station into Ontario. I'm gonna go over this little pre-way scale right here. They're gonna see that I'm empty and they should just let me bypass. These arrows up ahead here. Okay, they're telling me to bypass, all right. Bypass. Oh no, this isn't bypassing. Where's the scale? Why do you want me to go through here? I don't understand. Why am I here? You don't even have the scale open. Oh, the light says forward. Maybe they just want to see my truck up close. There you go. Hope I made your day. Now leave me alone. I'm going to fly in Jay. Why is that scale open? Oh well. They didn't bother us, so... We live to drive another day. Alright, literally right around the corner from the scale. Flying cash to Flying J. Flying cash to Flying J. Right here. There's not very many parking spots here, so... Good thing there's a few open ones. Just for me. Where's the best spot to park? Where would you say would be the best spot to park? That's a very good spot right there, Herb. I'll let you have that one. I should totally dive in there and steal a spot from him. Just nose right in. <laughs> oh, I'd be that driver. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got a kerfuffle going on here now. What are you doing, driver? I'm sorry. I'm in your way. I'm trying. I'm trying to get out of your way. Okay. Come on, Mr. Herb. 
Show me your backing skills. Very nice. Very nice. Another cool move. Oh man, looks like all the spots over there where I want it are taken. Huh. Missed your spot there, buddy. Oh well, happens to me all the time. Where is my oh my favorite spot? No, no, oh, oh my spot's open. Ha <laughs> ha! They left my spot open for me, just for me. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. All right, so we made it in here. We are right on that side. So the grass on that side of us there, and you can see in my little mirror on the side and. Right over there, let's zoom in that I am just hugging the curb, right? I am right alongside the curb. That's what I always do when I'm in these corner spots. I like rub right up against it. Just get all nice and friendly with that curb. Because it gives this guy over here plenty of room, right? Lots of room on that side if he gets out of here. Lots of room for another driver to get in here without hitting me. The only thing I'm concerned about is this spot here. Right along the curb there. It my hood is out of the way. If I had a long hood, it'd be sticking out into that spot. And my trailer tires are bumped up against the curb behind me. And you can see that this guy sticks out further than me yet. So that spot is pretty useless. No one can park there except a bobtail. You can't really back in there. I, I don't know what that spot's gonna be used for. But, oh well, what can you do, right? Maybe a better spot will open up for me yet. I don't know. So we moved. <laughs> grabbed a different spot. I was parked right over there. It's hard to tell right beside that white truck. I know, it's hard to tell because the sun is right there. Uh, but I was too nervous about drivers trying to squeeze into that spot that I'm showing you there. I know that someone's going to try and squeeze in there even though they can't. And I don't want them hitting my truck. So, little uh, maneuver and I'm over here. What do you call that again? Preemptive? No. I don't know. I just don't want anyone backing into me because it would have been very likely that someone could get backed into there. So I moved over here where it's much safer. Drivers can just pull, you know, straight forward against the building there and then back straight into their spot. And I, don't, I know I'm probably like very, very unlikely that I'll get hit here. I can't talk right now. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the day here. Diesel, what do you feel? How do you feel about that? Oh, I can't talk. That's another reason I'm going to end the vlog right now. 4 a.m. Central Time. I'm gonna be back on this channel. Tomorrow we're gonna to go pick up our load and we're gonna head down to Indiana, United States of America.